from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big early morning broadcast here on LA Late. Really incredible, great news across the board. As your fourth stimulus check, it's a big push, but also a twist. Oh boy, what a twist the fourth stimulus check update of 2021 today gets. As the head of the Ways and Means Committee says, he's not going to do the pay fors as the president proposes, but he's going to do everything else. This is the fourth stimulus check. This is the monthly stimulus check you would get starting the month of July. I'm going to go over the big money across the board. Also be going over the big money that's not included in fourth stimulus, and you're going to want it to be included. Yeah, there's a series of items from third stimulus about to expire. Meantime, we're going to be cutting over to the other money that's going live this week. A lot of big money, and it's third stimulus money. Money for rent, utilities, food, internet, business grants, money for seniors, a lot of people, a lot of money across the board. Then I'll be cutting back to fifth stimulus, and the big exciting news coming this fall from that fifth stimulus package. That fifth stimulus package has SSI and SSDI reform, but also has a lot of money for single people and individuals. It's a big morning. I'm so excited for you. Let's get to it. This is Early Mornings. All right. Morning, everybody. How you doing? It's a big, big morning of early mornings, LA, and I'm really excited you have joined me here on a day in which there's a lot of exciting developing details across the board. Let's get to all those details right now as I come into focus. How are you? If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also like this video, and if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. In this recording, we're going over that fourth stimulus check update of 2021 today the fifth stimulus check of 2021, and the great, incredible news of third stimulus, how much you're getting and why it's landing this week. Oh, great news across the board. So let's get to the details starting right now. Fourth stimulus got an interesting twist yesterday as the head of the Ways and Means Committee, Richard Neal, said he will not do the pay-fors that the president wants for the fourth stimulus package and the fifth. Those are capital gains, personal taxes change, and corporate taxes change across fourth and fifth. He's not going to push against the four stimulus checks. He's just not agreeing to the pay fours for it. So who gets these four stimulus checks? How do they work? How much are you getting? What are all the details? Let's get to it right now with this great, incredible news on a big morning today. First, you're going to get it if you make less than $75,000. If you're a household of four or less, and if you're on SSI and SSDI, you're getting it. Incredible great news across the board. The House members propose a stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. The senators are from now till December. House members are progressive. Senators are more moderate. And then the amount of the checks differ. House members, a stimulus check for the first month, the $2,000 and $1,000 thereafter. Senators' amount is unknown, but we're on the streets. It's this. Yes, this. $12,000 paid $2,000 over six months, or $14 a month paid over six months, which is $8,400. Incredible great news across the board. To which you may ask, is this income? Nope, it is not income. Is it taxable? No, it's not taxable. Does this disqualify me from benefits? Nope, not at all. All incredible great news across the board. So then you may wonder, well, um, when am I getting it? <laughs> July for the month of July. The first check will go out in the month of July for July. Then you'll get a month of check, monthly check thereafter. Incredible great news. This goes by recon, a two-month process with two bills. Starts in the House, then the Senate agree to do a recon, sign in the law. Then back it does a substantive bill, adds the stimulus checks, then signed into the House, then signed into the law. Done, done, done. Now, what I've been covering over the last few days is what's not slated to return in the fourth stimulus package. Really surprising news. I mean, just jaw-dropping and viewers have just been shocked 
But there's other, while certain things are not coming back, there is big money for third stimulus that's landing now. So let me go over the big exciting news for third stimulus for that money that's landing. And coming up later in this recording, I'll go over what's not coming back under fourth stimulus from third. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's get to the great, incredible news. This money, week, money for rent, utilities, homeowners assistance, and mortgage assistance is landing in your city and state. Finally, this is third stimulus money. This is the big money that pays a lot of money. It, the big money pays a lot of money. That's sort of an oxymoron, but it's lots. Um, it's six to eight months of past rent, approximately. It's about $5,000 of rent. It's utilities. It's mortgage assistance. It's homeowner's assistance. That's number one. Second, a lot of big money from the businesses just went live. The shuttered venue grant went live at SBA.gov, not just for venues. The restaurant grant went live at SBA.gov and... The uh, PPP grant has now been extended. The remainder of the $10,000 grant is being paid. And also, I just have a feeling that the $5,000 grant from Third Stimulus is about to go live as well. We'll watch that one as well over the next few days. What else is going live? Well, the remain the refund of your taxes that you paid on your first $10,200 of unemployment 2020 is getting returned back to you from that 2020 return you filed. That's starting this week. This is for the non-filers. There's two waves. Wave one is the is the single filers. Did I say non-filers? I meant single filers. Wave one is the single filers. Wave two is the joint filers, husband and wife. So they're returning back that portion of the tax bill you paid taxes on. So, for example, let's say if you got $9,000 of unemployment, you paid a $5,000 tax bill for your entire tax return of 2020, which you filed, and of that $1,000 was for that portion of the taxes on the unemployment, you're getting $1,000 back. You're not getting the full tax payment back, and you're not getting double your unemployment back. No, that ain't happening. So that's also happening. Also, if you did not get a second, first, or third stimulus check, you're going to need to file a tax return to request it. Then if you have not told IRS you have a child, you're going to have to file a tax return. The This couple days is coming up on when that personal tax return is due, and guess what? That money for the children starting in the July, you got to tee that up now. You got to tee that up now. How does that work? That's $3,600 or $3,000 starting the month of July, prorated per month, $300 a month. And you have to tell IRS you have that child if you have not already. So here are the two examples when you got to do this. First, you have to make sure that you make less than $75,000. That is the eligibility. So the first group are people who never file tax returns. You got to file a tax return. They won't know the child exists because you don't file tax returns. Group number two is someone who does file tax returns but doesn't list the child. Maybe because the child was just born or something happened. So you need to list that child. A lot of fixing you got to do now with third stimulus. A lot of great money coming from you for third stimulus. Rent, utilities, the business money, the, the, the unemployment money, refund, and the children's money. Great news across the board. But guess what? Fifth stimulus has more money for you as well. That's coming up in the second half of this recording. Let me give you a preview of what's in fifth stimulus. Fifth stimulus will raise your benefits across the board and will raise everyone on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans, Senior, Senior, uh, and a Senior um, Survivor Benefits. But boy, there was some big financial news yesterday as well. Let me tell you the big financial news coming into this day. Wall Street saw tech down severely yesterday. DASDEC was down at some point 2.5%. Dow remained flat. Uh, Bitcoin was just all over the place. At some point, it was down 7%. Ethereum was up and then down. But Dogecoin really remains sort of the... <laughs> Uh, the pyramid scheme of the moment. It's just it's just running to 50 cents because someone's appearing on TV. Yeah, someone's appearing on TV Saturday, and because of that, they want to trade up the stock. It doesn't make any sense, folks. Um, and meantime, the other big news really was Yellen yesterday. Janet Yellen, your Treasury Secretary, said that she anticipates interest rates will continue to rise throughout the rest of this year. Wall Street didn't particularly like that, even though we've heard that from Warren Buffett and the Tre and Jerome Powell, head of the Federal Reserve. The other big news was really what's going on with businesses. Um, 
Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon said everyone back in the office by June to, June 14th. Then JP Morgan Chase's CEO said uh, 50% back by July. I'm sick of Zoom. <laughs> That's what he said. And then the New York Stock Exchange, yeah, that place, that place where they trade things, not Dogecoin, but everything else they trade there, well, almost everything else, um, they have announced that beginning this Monday, members of the floor community who are fully vaccinated will be able to roam on the floor without mask, so long as they stay six feet apart. So Wall Street's Dow Jones is back open for business, but that's the NOS, NYSC specifically, actually. And no face backs, but you have to be 10 feet apart. Wow. So now let's go over the items that are not slated currently to be in the four stimulus package, but should be in the four stimulus package. If you're just joining me, you understand that that stimulus checks is the single biggest payout ever on this history's channel, but there's a lot of money that's not being mentioned that needs to be mentioned. Let's look at that graphic again. That big money um, starts the month of July and would pay out month after month. There you go. So what is not included in this? Here you go. Here's the shocker. Three categories of items not uh, included. First, rent. Second, uh, utilities. Uh, let me do it by category. The first group is the is the renters and homeowners assistance. Second group is the business grants, and the third group that's missing is all the unemployment. Viewers yesterday on Afternoons LA, our first show, which is the chat show Q and A, they're saying, "Do you think they're not going to bring them back?" I said, "They better." <laughs> I just think it's crazy if they don't. P E U C F P U C P U A, all going away. <laughs> yeah, that does right all going away. It's just crazy. There's 16 million Americans still on long-term unemployed and 8 million jobs missing. Yeah, that number may improve, but if it doesn't improve by July, they got to fix it. All the rental assistance going away, rent assistance, eviction moratorium, mortgage forbearance, utilities all going away. And then uh, the incredible surprising detail that all the... Um, Items for the business people are going away as well. PPP, EIDL grant, EIDL loan, shutter venue grant, restaurant grant, all going away? <laughs> it's just, viewers have asked me, do you think they're going to let this slide? I said, you can't take the chance. I mean, you literally cannot take the chance. This Congress, notoriously, a year ago, last July, let things slide away. And while the toast is toast and the butter is butter and I'm here, you're here, What will? where would they be in July? <laughs> They won't be here in July. They're gone. They're on vacation in July. So you have to understand that once they pass for stimulus, they're gone to September. And when they come back, it's too time. It's too short a time to extend those items. Yeah, the president can do some things by executive order, but based upon his lack of ability to get that student loan debt forgiveness done, um, I'm worried. Remember, student loan debt forgiveness, the memo from Miguel Cardona has still not been produced. It's three weeks late. Um, there's new an, a new effort online with 1 million signatures to forgive student loan debt. There's another petition with 1 million signatures to do $2,000 a month of stimulus checks monthly. But is the president pay attention to these? I don't know. Um, ultimately, the president seems to be doing things a little bit differently over the last few days. One of the things he announced yesterday is he's trying to get the entire country one dose of Excuse me, he's trying to get 70% of the country one dose vaccinated by July 4th. I don't think that's a hard reach, but that's what he's trying to do. One dose by July 4th, 70% of the U.S. population. Remember, 75 to 84% approximately is herd immunity. So really quite fascinating across the board. Meantime, this is my opinion of pushing. I think you should push Purple Power. Share this video. Share it on social media. Push to get that rent, utilities, food, and internet in the, uh, and items in for stimulus. Push to get the business grants. And then of the rent, I'm a little worried about that because they said they wanted it to expire because they – uh, they wanted the eviction moratorium and mortgage forbearance to expire because they're giving you the rent now and the mortgage assistance now. Well, that's more reason to get it right now. And with that, here's a little bit about the community page that can help you get that money. I'll be back in 60 seconds with more about this and the fifth stimulus. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, 
Then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues on LA Late at 12 noon Pacific Eastern Standard Time with mornings LA heating up. And then we go into noontime LA Late shortly thereafter. That is at 2 p.m. And then afternoons LA Late. It's an easy breezy schedule that's easy to follow with a new show every two hours. Then we go into afternoons LA Late second show. That's the big tape show followed by evenings LA Late and then LA Late Night. It's a big programming schedule and I can't wish to see you across all those shows. And with that, thank you for joining me on Early Mornings LA Late. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video, and if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. The fifth stimulus is really heating up, and that fifth stimulus package has a lot of stuff happening with it. There is the reform part of it, and then the substantive part of it. And there's a lot of stuff for a lot of people. So let me go over all the details first. Fifth stimulus, the one part of it that really gets the biggest coverage is that SSI, SSDI, Social Security reform of the fifth stimulus package. Let me go over all those details right now. So how does this work and who gets it? So let me go over those details. First, they're going to increase everyone's benefits, then add an asset limit, then in, add inflationary benchmark. Later, they'll remove the income exclusion, and then they'll remove the marriage penalty. And this is the SSI reform coming from the Democrats in the fifth stimulus package. The fifth stimulus package is price tag continues to grow. It's now at $2 trillion. The fourth may grow to $4 trillion. So we're looking at you know $8 trillion dollars over just nine months of this presidency. All right, let me explain to you how much you're getting under fifth stimulus. If you're, who is this first? If it's SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, Social Security, also Social Security bene uh, survivor benefits and SSA, all incredible great news. They're gonna first raise you up to a new number. That will be your new number going forward. Then you know, they're gonna tie you to inflation. You ought to hear Janet Yellen, you heard Jerome Powell, you heard, uh, Warren Buffett, I'll talk about inflation the last few days. They're going to tie you to inflation. So as inflation goes up, your benefits go up. Next, they're going to remove um, the income exclusion. The income exclusion dates back to the 1960s and says you can't work and stay on benefits. They're going to get rid of it. So if you want to make $1,000, $2,000 a month, they'll let you and still stay on benefits. Then they're going to remove the asset exclusion, which says you can't keep more than $3,000 on hand. They're going to remove that item and allow you to get those benefits as well. Finally, we have um, the incredible great news that they're going to remove the marriage penalty. Now, you may wonder, what is the marriage penalty? If you've been suffering from the marriage penalty or you're considering getting married, you know what the marriage penalty is. One of the viewers said yesterday she knew exactly what the marriage penalty is. She's anticipating getting married, and she has already been alerted to its onerous situation, and they're getting rid of it. So incredible great news. When would this kick in? This would go by fifth stimulus. This would be uh, September through October and likely impact your benefits in in November. This is the fifth stimulus package. It would go by recon, 
And guess what? <laughs> There's a lot of other stuff in the fifth stimulus package besides that. So let me go over all the big exciting details of what else is in the fifth stimulus package from this president. And ironically, why it's not just for families. Yes, really interesting. So there's a lot of money in the fifth stimulus package that is for single people. There's a lot of money in there for hazard pay. There's a lot of money in there for seniors in addition to what I just went over. So let me go over each of the details one at a time. Fifth stimulus has more money for child care and national paid family and medical sick leave program. So this is for single people who work and had to stay home because they were sick. You can get up to 13 weeks from your employer, 12 weeks from your employer. Then universal preschool for all three to four-year-old students. And then two years of free community college for all students. Let me stop right there. I don't like those two. And I'll tell you in a second why I don't. Um, there's also two years of free tuition for um, kids of a parent who makes less than, makes six figures a year. What? Okay. These are the three things I really don't like. First, we, sh it's, we should not be paying for preschool for all students. It should be for students who are from a single parent, 75000 or less. Uh, income or married couple 150 or less same as a stimulus check second we shouldn't be paying for free community college for all students again why are we paying that for billionaires kids doesn't make sense it should be again 75,000 single parent or 150,000 married parent or less uh it has more money for the Pell's grant, which I love. I think there should be more of that. And more money for college retention grants. I love that as well. But here again, why are we paying two years of college for parents, for a single parent who makes six figures? No. If the parent makes six figures, it should be less than that. It should be $75,000. Um, and then we get to the items for the other people. There is more money for SNAP. There is continuing the low insurance health premiums of the third stimulus package, uh, and that would make it lifetime, and then would uh, make permanently, firm, uh, permanently fully refundable the child tax credit, make the child care tax credit permanent, and then make the earned income tax credit permanent. <laughs> okay. Of those three, there's one that's controversial, there's one that's great but not big enough, and there's one, another one that's great but not big enough. Let me go over all of them. The earned income tax credit is for hazard pay. That's if you are 19 years or younger, 19 years or older, make less than 25,000, essential worker, 2020 uh, worker, you can deduct $1,504 from your tax return as an earned income tax credit. They want to make that permanent. I think that's great. Just needs to be bigger. Why $25,000? I just get so many people saying this is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. If you make more money than that, you're not getting a tax deduction. You should be getting a tax credit. You should get in tax credit. Um, so it just makes more sense. More, and I think the money should be higher than $1,504. Second, uh, the child care credit, I think it's great. I think it should be bigger. I don't think it makes sense the way it's written currently. It says if you spend money, you can deduct something. Why not let people deduct all that they spent? Here's what's going on. The rule currently is one child up to 50% or $5,000. Two or more children up to 50% but capped at $8,000? Wait a second. So if you got three kids and you got $30,000, you only get $8,000? Not particularly fair. Now, I'm not talking about Octomom, but I'm saying, you know, if you got $20,000 in benefit in, in costs that you spent, why is it not deductible? It should be more, and then finally the most controversial one, which is making the fully the making the child care credit permanent. Oh my goodness! The president, well, he wants to do it six years. And so, if they come out of the womb, you're going to get six years of four thousand dollars, twenty four thousand dollars. Too much money, too much money. Not giving has to pay workers twenty four thousand. Not giving central workers. Not giving seniors twenty four thousand. Not giving unemployed people twenty four thousand. Not giving business grant people twenty four thousand. Why them? Why these kids? Then, to make it even worse, Representative Neal has introduced his own standalone legislation. Yeah, he's that guy in the House Ways and Means Committee again. He wants to do it over 17 years. Oh, boy. 17 years is $84,000. I mean, what are we doing here? $84,000 to, to, to kids over 17 years? That's an incredible sum of money. And it's not just for a few kids. It's for a lot of kids.
Which brings us then to the payoffs. How are we going to pay for this? Representative Neal says he's not going to do this. He's not going to do that. Uh, so how are we going to do it? Well, here's the problem is that this one is not keeping the president's promises. The president had said that fifth, that these taxes would not impact anyone who makes less than $400,000 a year. Guess what? He's being loose with the words. When considering a married couple, which is two people, he's not saying 400, 400, 800,000. He's saying, no, married couple, I'll drop it to 600. Oh boy, that's not fair. You specifically said that you wouldn't do it. Meantime, after the after the close of the market yesterday, we had a series of corporate earnings come in, and they were very strong. I want to give you all those details of what the corporate earnings said coming in yesterday, and you're going to be surprised across the board as the toast is toast and the butter is buttering, and the corporate earnings are percolating from Q1 2021. What happened? T-Mobile beat Wall Street's numbers. Wall Street expecting it's 57 cents a share came in at 74 cents a share. Activision Blizzard, Blizzard blew out the Wall Street estimates, which was 70 cents came in at 84. Lyft did really well. Um, they came in much higher than Wall Street expected. Zillow killed it. Uh, 25 was what was expected. They came in at 44 cents. And then Match Group came in at 57 cents a share, Wall Street expecting 40 cents a share. Wow. Very impressive. Very impressive. And guess what Thursday is as we get ready for a new day across the board. Thursday, we're just a few hours away from Thursday. <laughs> just a few hours away from Friday also. Thursday is the new jobless numbers. I want to see those jobless numbers. I want to see some economic data because as the country starts to reopen, as Wall Street reopens, as, uh, who is that, J.P. Morgan orders their employees back to work, and and the other one says, we hate Zoom, <laughs> we're going to see what happens with those unemployment numbers. Remember, you want this forced stimulus to go out the door as soon as possible, because I haven't mentioned a few days, but you remember what I always said to you, that my worry was uh, speed. Well, every month that they don't get this done as a stimulus check, the economic rebounding is my big concern, but also the job restoration numbers. Now, we just some days we think we're 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 good and 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 fine, but then other days I see all this reopening play. July's New York opening, we are hearing that Los Angeles will go to yellow zone on a tier, which would be our best since the pandemic started tomorrow Thursday. So. Things are moving very fast. And with that, um, I'm also moving fast, so I look forward to seeing you in two hours from now. Uh, join me on Mornings at Late at 2 a, 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. And then we're at noon time, two hours after that, followed by Afternoons at Late. And then we go into our tape shows. Afternoons at Late at 6 p.m., followed by Evenings at Late at 8 p.m., and then at LA at Late Night. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. I want you part of this community, fastest growing community there is on the internet. This is LA, a financial news channel that delivers 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the most comprehensive, the most up to date, and the most informational across the board. I want you part of this community to subscribe. Also, like this video. Let's try to do two, 3,000 likes. Thank you for all the people who've been tuning into Mornings LA and making that a hit show again. Keep on tuning into Mornings LA. I love it. Keep on tuning in. Some of you have not been tuning into the second Afternoons LA, the tape show, so make sure you tune into that Afternoons and Evening shows. That's a, those are great shows. Also, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. Stay informed, stay focused, keep on smiling, keep on trucking, and stay with LA for more.